we can see that we just got 26,000 bottle caps added into our inventory. That is a crap ton of money in this game. What's up guys, welcome to RPG What? My name is Trevor and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the ultimate Fallout 4 uh, money glitch. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. And <clears throat> first off, before we begin, you guys are going to have to meet uh, like a few requirements. First requirement is you can't actually see it out in the distance, um, but <clears throat> over here is the Pridwin. You're going to need access to the Pridwin um, because inside there is a man whose name is Proctor Quinlan, who we are gonna be selling a bunch of technical documents to. However, the way that we have to sell him these technical documents is very, very specific. So make sure to watch all the way through this video to understand um, how to do this glitch properly uh, so nothing breaks on you. Um, the next thing that we're going to need is the Contraptions DLC. Um, this uh, DLC is actually really, really affordable. It costs like $4.99. Um, and so we're you know, just going to need it. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be selling technical documents to Proctor Quinlan. So <clears throat> we are going to need... Uh, right here, technical documents. Um, I believe you can start getting these documents once you are uh, a part of the Brotherhood of Steel just by going and looking in the filing cabinets and uh, desks and stuff like that inside of dungeons and abandoned you know, factories and stuff. You will be able to find these technical documents there. Uh, you may be able to find them just at the very beginning of the game. I'm not sure, but I know that once you start the Brotherhood of Steel, you definitely can get them. So once you have the contraptions DLC, you're going to want to build something that looks like this. I'm actually going to just go ahead and show you how to do that right now. So we're going to open up our build menu, scroll over to where it says power, click on that, scroll over to manufacturing, and this will unlock once you have the contraptions DLC. Go ahead and click this first slot. <clears throat> we're going to want to build a conveyor belt, uh, click B to back out, scroll over to uh, miscellaneous, Scroll four times over and get this conveyor storage. Hook this sucker up to power and we are good. Now I already have this built, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. Also, um, those commands that I was giving you are for the Xbox console. This glitch, uh, the method that I'm showing you, everything like that will work on Xbox, uh, PlayStation, PC, everywhere that Fallout 4 is available. So. So how this glitch works uh, is it basically will uh, duplicate anything in the game. Um, so what you have to do is you have to drop an item on the conveyor belt. It's going to move down. Whenever it's halfway into the black section and halfway still on the belt, we want to click and pick up the item. If we do it right, um, well, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, hopefully whenever you do it right, and hopefully whenever you do it uh, incorrectly as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, and exit out of build mode, <clears throat> press B, uh, scroll over to the inventory and to miscellaneous, and right here are our technical uh, technical documents. Now, I currently have uh, 2,400 uh, documents. I did not go and pick all of these up. I have already uh, duplicated a, a couple of times before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drop these technical documents, and they're going to land on the conveyor belt. I'm gonna come down here and, oh, did I do it? Maybe I just did it. Oh, I just did it first try. That is that is incredible. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, um, there are 2,451 uh, technical documents in the conveyor storage, and I just have one technical document in my inventory. That is exactly what you want. Now, sometimes like, it, the, let's say that you did this um, and, and the, you know, the 2000 uh, or the large amount of technical documents, whatever you started with was in the conveyor storage, um, but you didn't have anything in your inventory. You didn't have one technical document in your inventory. Then you did not do the glitch correctly and you were just a little bit too late on uh, picking up the items. Now, it's also possible for you to have uh, the large amount of technical documents like what you started with in your inventory, but only one technical document in the conveyor storage. That basically means that you were a little too early in picking up the technical documents. So basically you were close, but no cigar. So since we did it correctly the first try, 
I'm going to go ahead and drop this technical document on the ground, come over here, pick up the other technical uh, documents uh, out of the conveyor storage. And I'm going to go ahead and drop those right there. As you can see, it has duplicated. We have uh, two stacks of 2,451 technical documents, um, but we don't want to pick these up quite yet. We actually want to press um, the pause button and save the game. So we're going to go ahead and save the game. And then once we have uh, saved the game, we want to go ahead and press the pause menu again and quit out of the game. If we pick up the technical documents before saving and quitting out of the game, it just breaks the glitch. So you don't wanna do that. You want to do, uh, do it the way that I'm showing you. So once we're at the main menu, we can just go ahead and click continue to go right back into the game. And once we load into the game, it's, go, you know, it's perfectly safe to go ahead and pick up these technical documents. And as you guys can see, we have now gotten um, 4,902 technical documents. We basically just duplicated what we have. What you're going to want to do now is go ahead and keep doing this glitch, keep repeating it, keep saving, keep loading, keep you know duplicating uh, your technical documents until you have as many of them as you want. And then once you have all the technical documents that you need uh, or want, go ahead and fast travel over to the Pridwin to sell them to uh, Proctor Quinlan. But once again, remember, there is a specific way that you have to give these to Proctor Quinlan or the glitch just really won't work. It won't be nearly as efficient. So we're here at the Pridwin, my home, my home away from home. Uh, during my current playthrough of Fallout 4, this is actually the faction that I'm siding with. So it really and truly uh, is my home away from home. So we're going to go ahead and uh, come inside the Pridwin, go up the ladder. And then once we arrive here in the Pridwin, we, we just want to walk straight and take the first door on our right. And right here is uh, Quinlan. Now, we could click on him and uh, give him all the technical documents, but we will not get all the money uh, in return. Uh, for some reason, if you give Proctor Quinlan like any more than around a thousand, um, it doesn't give you the full amount of money. Like it says that it gives it to you, but then whenever you go and you check your inventory, you don't actually have um, have like the, all the money that it said it gave you. So the way around this is um, to go ahead and come over here to this desk, press X, go over to miscellaneous, scroll down, and we're going to go ahead and put <clears throat> around... Um, pretty much all of the technical documents minus like uh, a thousand. There we go. Close enough. Okay, so we have 1,074 technical documents in our inventory right here you can see. And we also have 362,000 caps. So let's go over here to Quinlan. Excuse me, Proctor Quinlan. And we're going to go ahead and sell him or give him these technical documents. And then up in the top left, we can see that we just got 26,000 bottle caps added into our inventory. That is a crap ton of money in this game. So let's go ahead and check. And uh, before we had like around 160 something thousand and now we have 380 almost 390 something thousand. So it gave us the full amount of money that we deserved. Um, and you just keep coming back over here to this filing cabinet, taking out a thousand, keep selling it to them. You guys get this, you guys are smart. So that is basically the ultimate money glitch here in Fallout 4. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the duplication glitch that I showed you earlier can be used for all sorts of things. So if you want to duplicate armor or, uh, you know, for your companions, duplicate ammunition or just duplicate other things to sell, you're more than welcome. But I definitely feel that duplicating technical documents and selling them or giving them to Quinlan for money is the most efficient way to earn a crap ton of caps here in Fallout 4. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like it as it definitely, you know, helps spread this uh, this video to other people, you know, in the YouTube algorithms. Um, and it also lets me know that you really enjoyed this video and it gives me more motivation to make more uh, glitch uh, videos for Fallout 4 and also future RPGs um, as well. 
Also, this channel, RPG What, is a channel that is completely dedicated to covering role-playing game content. So if you are a huge fan of Fallout, if you really love Elder Scrolls, if you're possibly looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy, uh, the next Mass Effect, or Dragon Age, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on future content for this channel. Thank you so much for watching RPG What. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out.